Hi, so great to meet you. What's your name? Jill Michelle. Where are you from? (laughs) Miami originally, but I live in Los Angeles. And what do you do in Los Angeles? Um, I'm an actress and a comedian. Oh, wow. Okay. Great. So how um, can I help? You can help me a lot. Um, um, I work frequently and I also date frequently in relationships, but I'm always, I feel stuck. I feel like I'm hitting this barrier and that is in work and in relationships. I'll have a great relationship and then something will happen and it'll just fall out. Um, and in career, I have enough money to pay rent and, I, yeah. and I'm grateful and I have these gracious times, but then I fall into these depressions that are just so horrible. And I know they're moments and they'll pass, but they're so dark. Okay, very normal. Yeah. Okay, look me in the eyes, very normal. Now, let me ask you a few questions. Yes. You said like a relationship will go along then something happens. Yes. Like what? Like my last boyfriend left me for a guy. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's something. Okay, so that's a, okay. Yeah. So that's what you mean when you say something happens. Yeah. yeah, stuff like that. Um are you in a rut? Are you doing the same thing you've been doing? Um, I look at that and I try to reinvent and try to right. do things like that constantly and I I get frustrated because I, the results, I'll see some results, but not yeah. other results. Yes, yes, Ugh. yes, yes. So that's where I am. Um, Very complicated. Here's what I'd do if I were you. Yeah. I would go find somebody who has what you need. So tutoring, hospice care, helping in an urban under-resourced neighborhood where there's a food program. Mm-hmm. If I were you, I would step outside of your world. Okay. Because sometimes what happens is I'm trying to make the relationship thing work. I'm trying to make the career thing work. And it's like you're going back and forth between these two things. And it's like you're stuck in a world where you've already built these walls and can't see beyond them. So when somebody says they're stuck in their life, my first instinct is then go make a bigger life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, And the way that it works is whenever you engage with someone else's suffering, it puts your own perspectives in, into place. Yeah. Um, so I would ask the question, what do I love to do and where could I go do that in the most direct way mm-hmm. and see if that doesn't... By the way, you also might meet somebody who's also doing something similar, which um, you want to be in the place doing the kinds of things that the kind of person you'd meet there mm-hmm. be the kind of person you actually want to be with. So you never know. And you might have all sorts of new material in your work. Yeah. But nevertheless, <laughs> added bonus. Not the reason you do it. Hey. You do it is this sense of, I need to reboot my life and I'm just stuck in the same track. And I appreciate that because I needed that. It resonated Good. with me. I appreciate it. Good. Thank you so much.